Let's write 0 0.3 repeater as a fraction. This one here is nice to memorize. That 0 0.3 repeater is equals to 1 third. 0.3333333 repeater, which means repeating decimals, is the same thing as 1 out of 3. If we draw a circle, this is 1 third of a pi. So please memorize this. This bar means repeater. 0.6 repeater equals 0 0.66666 forever. And please memorize that 0.6 repeater is equivalent to 2 thirds. If we have a nice rectangular pizza and there are three parts, the denominator, know that 2 out of 3 are selected. So know that 0.6 repeater equals 2 thirds. Let's now express 2.6 repeater as a fraction. We want the form A over B, or an improper fraction. 2.6 repeater is equivalent to 2 plus 2 thirds. And the number 2 is the same thing as 2 over 1. We can find a common denominator, make it a 3. So 2 over 1, if you multiply top and bottom by 3, is 6 over 3 plus 2 thirds. So this becomes 8, and the denominator is 3. Another way of doing this is to write 2 and 2 thirds as a mixed fraction. You can multiply 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8, and we just copy the denominator. So we can now convert 2.6 repeater to a fraction. Now it's your turn. What's 5.3 repeater as an improper fraction? We have 5 plus 1 third. Or 5 and 1 third. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16. And we copy the denominator to 3. So 16 over 3 is the answer. 0 0.2 can we convert it to a percentage? 0 0.2 is the same thing as 0.2. We're allowed to add zeros to the end, as many as we wish. Let's just add one zero. So we have 0 0.20. To convert from a decimal number to a percentage, we multiply by 100. So that means this decimal place moves two digits to the right, one, two. So the answer is 20, 20%. Again, let's convert to a percentage. We have 3.14. If we multiply by 100, boink, boink, we have 314%. Again, let's convert from a decimal number to a percentage. We multiply by 100, so the decimal place moves over two to the right. So 0 0.05 equals 5%. To convert from a decimal to a percentage, we multiply by 100. So we move over two spaces, we get 0.12%, which is equivalent to 0.12%. Let's convert 0 0.0123 to a percentage. Your turn. Take the decimal and make it jump two units to the right. So we now have 1.23%. Let's convert this fraction to a decimal number. We have some zeros at the end, so we can cancel these out. Essentially, we're dividing top and bottom by 10. Now we have 256 over 1280. This is, these are large numbers. One clever technique is to break this fraction into two parts. So we have 256 over 128 times 1 over 10. Remember that when we have two fractions, we multiply across. So 128 times 10 is 1,280. So these are equivalent. Now look carefully at 256 divided by 128. The numerator is twice that of the denominator. So we can divide top and bottom by 128. So essentially we get 2 over 1. Another technique is to continually divide by 2, the numerator and denominator. So now we have 
2 over 1 multiplied by 1 over 10 multiplying across we have 2 over 10 which can be reduced to 1 over 5 if you divide top and bottom by 2 let's try this part again 2 over 1 multiplied by 1 over 10 by the way you're also allowed to simplify diagonally when multiplying two fractions so we divide by 2 top and bottom so 1 times 1 is 1 and 1 times 5 is 5 we get the same answer but we're not done yet we need a decimal number what is 1 divided by 5 what is 1 divided by 5 do not mix these up 5 fits into 1 0 times so 5 times 0 is 0 we can subtract and drop the next digit which is a 0 now this is the end of the number so we put a decimal place right in the corner here 5 times what is 10? 5 times 2 is 10 and we subtract and there's no remainder so this here is our final decimal answer